If you could be anywhere in the world, where would you like to be? And I said to him, probably right here, out on Nevada. Our nation's high at 79 today. Out in California, they're going to have some warm weather tomorrow, gang wars, and some very overpriced real estate. Up in the Pacific Northwest, as you can see, they're going to have some very, very tall trees. Clear across the Rockies and the Great Plains mostly, but look out, here comes trouble. here in the Three Rivers area, one of these big blue things, this cold, frigid Arctic air, this big mass coming out of the north, it's going to meet up with all of this moisture coming up out of the Gulf, going to mix together at high altitudes and cause some snow, going out on a limb now, not going to hit us here in Pittsburgh, going to push off and hit Altoona. <sighs> Close call. As you can see, nothing to be too scared about. Bundle up warm, of course. But I think you can leave your galoshes and all that. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and I'm going out to Punxsutawney for our country's oldest groundhog festival. So, as you know, according to the legend, tomorrow, February 2nd, if the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. So keep your fingers crossed, huh? Sounds like a lot of fun. You must really enjoy it. This is your third year in a row, isn't it, Phil? Four, Nan. Four. Thanks, Larry. Go eat in the van, will you?
For your information, Hairdo, there is a major network interested in me. Yeah, that would be the home shopping network. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Go wait in the van, will you? I think she's going to be a really good producer. <laughs> you guys are going to have fun. Mm -mm. She's fun, but not my kind of fun. Stop. <laughs> Look, can you handle the ten or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, if for any reason you don't want to rush back, I, I can do the five tomorrow. Oh, come on, I want to stay an extra second in Punxsutawney, please. Look, Rita thinks it would be a great idea to stay around for some of the other events, you know, get some incredible footage. The people and the fun, the excitement. You haven't worked with her yet, have you? She's really nice. I think she's going to be a really good producer. <laughs> you guys are going to have fun. Mm-mm. She's fun, but not my kind of fun. I will be here for the five. Rita! Keep the talent happy. Anything I can do.
I can't stay here. Oh, prima donna. What's the matter, Phil? I hate this place. I stayed here two years ago. I was miserable. It's a flea bag. I'm not staying here. You're not staying here. I'm not? No. Larry's just dropping me off. I booked you in a very nice bed and breakfast in Cherry Street. Great. You know, I think this is one of the traits of a really good producer. Keep the talent happy. Anything I can do. Would you help me with my pelvic tilt? <laughs> Within reason. Would you like to come to dinner with Larry and me? No, thank you. I've seen Larry eat. <laughs> oh, you get your sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Don't be late. Did he actually call himself the talent? <laughs> Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. some coffee. I don't suppose there's any possibility of getting an espresso or a cappuccino this morning, is there? Oh, I I really don't know. Um, How to spell espresso or cappuccino. This looks fine. I hope you enjoyed the festivities. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to. There's, uh, there's talk of a blizzard. Well, we may catch a break, and that blizzard's going to blow right by us. All of this moisture coming up out of the south by midday is probably going to push on to the east of us, and at high altitudes, it's going to crystallize and give us what we call snow probably be some accumulation. But here in Punxsutawney, our high is going to get up to about 30 today. Teens tonight, chance of precipitation about 20% today, 20% tomorrow. Did you want to talk about the weather, or were you just making chit-chat? Chit-chat. Okay. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, um, will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. Bing! Bing! <laughs> <laughs>
I thought that was you. Hi, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Hey, hey. Now, don't you tell me you don't remember me, because I sure as heck fire remember you. Not a chance. <laughs> Ned! Ryerson! Needle nose Ned, Ned the head. Come on, buddy. Case Western High. Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Ned Ryerson got the shingles real bad senior year, almost didn't graduate. Bing! Again! Ned Ryerson, I dated your sister Mary Pat a couple times till you told me not to anymore. Well? Ned Ryerson? Bing! Bing! <laughs> This is one time where television really fails to capture the true excitement of a large squirrel predicting the weather. a master at work. The master? Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous weatherman, the groundhog, who as legend has it can predict the coming of an early spring. So I guess the question we have to ask ourselves today is, does Phil feel lucky? I would love to stand here and talk with you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> See hey, that's all right. I'll walk with you. I sell insurance. What a shock. Do you have life insurance? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. Ned, I would love to stand here and talk with you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> See? Hey, that's all right. I'll walk with you. <laughs> Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> You're incredible. Who told you?
they sing songs till they get too cold and then they go sit by the fire and they get warm and then they come back and they sing some more. Yeah, they're hicks, Rita. So, you sleep okay without me? You tossed and turned, didn't you? You're incredible. Who told you? It's your choice. So what's it gonna be? I'm thinking. listen to the weather we got a major storm here i make the weather all of this moisture coming up out of the gulf is going to push us to the east and it'll do it now you got that moisture on your head now you can go back to puxatawney or you can go ahead and freeze to them it's your choice so what's it going to be i'm thinking don't you have some kind of a line that you keep open for emergencies or for celebrities I'm both. are down what about the satellite is it snowing in space don't you have some kind of a line that you keep open for emergencies or for celebrities i'm both 
I'm a celebrity in an emergency. Can you patch me through on that line, please? Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. See the groundhog? Yeah. I think it'll be an early spring. <laughs> Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. No. <gasps> don't mess with me, pork chop. <sighs> what day is this? It's February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rita, I'm reliving the same day over and over. Groundhog Day, today. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. No, really, this is the third time. It's like yesterday never happened. I am racking my brain, but I can't even begin to imagine why you'd make up something like this. I'm not making it up. I am asking you for help. Okay, what do you want me to do? I don't know. You're a producer. Come up with something. Want my advice? I think you should get your head examined. Examined if you expect me to believe a stupid story like that, Phil. Phil? Like the groundhog, Phil? Yeah, like the groundhog, Phil. <laughs> Look up for your shadow there, pal. <laughs> Morons, your bus is leaving. You guys ready? You better get going if we're going to stay ahead of the weather. Let's talk about it back in Pittsburgh. I'm not going back to Pittsburgh. Why not? Because of the blizzard. I thought you said that was going to hit Altoona. Yeah, I know that's what I said. You know what you may need, Mr. Connors? A biopsy. A psychiatrist.
No lesions, mm, no aneurysms. At least none that I can see, Mr. Connors. Of course, if you want a CAT scan or an MRI, you're going to have to go into Pittsburgh. I can't go into Pittsburgh. Why can't you go into Pittsburgh? I told you there's a blizzard. Oh, right, the blizzard. You know what you may need, Mr. Connors? A biopsy. A psychiatrist. How's tomorrow for you? Is that not good? My work is with couples, families. I have an alcoholic now. Well, you went to college, right? I mean, it wasn't veterinary psychology, was it? Didn't you take some kind of course that covered this stuff? Yeah, sort of, I guess. Uh, abnormal psychology. So, what do I do? I think we should meet again. How's tomorrow for you? Is that not good? Hey, mister, are you some kind of hustler? No. Gosh, no, no. Do you bet, Gladys? Basketball. Great. I'll take the Lakers over the Sonics by four. I'll take the Bulls over the Pistons by 14. I'll take the Jazz over the Sixers by nine. I'll take the Bucks over the Celtics by 21. I'll take the Spurs over the Mavs by five. 
And I'll take Ilmes and Giro over Mancini and Roma by 41 in the European League. Hey, mister, are you some kind of hustler? No. Gosh, no, no. Let me handle this. Large fries, uh, two chocolate shakes, and one large Coke. And some flapjacks. Too early for flapjacks? <laughs> Mrs. Lancaster, uh, was anybody looking for me here this morning? Uh, perhaps a state official, maybe a blue hat, gun, nightstick? Oh, no, no one like that. Uh, will there be? Apparently not. I'd love some of your coffee, please. I hope... Lori's moving in a little bit later, but the blizzard's gonna hit outside of town. Uh, Mrs. Lancaster, uh, was anybody looking for me here this morning? Uh, perhaps a state official, maybe a blue hat, gun, nightstick? Oh, no, no one like that. Uh, will there be? Apparently not. Lincoln, Walsh. Okay, thanks very much. Hey. Hey.
Paige, see the groundhog this morning? Uh-huh. I never miss it. What's your name? Nancy Taylor. And you are? What high school did you go to? What? High school. Lincoln in Pittsburgh. Who are you? Who was your 12th grade English teacher? <laughs> are you kidding? No, no, no. In 12th grade, your English teacher was... Mrs. Walsh. Mrs. Walsh, yeah. Nancy. Lincoln. Walsh. Okay, thanks very much. Hey! Hey! Talk to me. Let me buy you a cup of coffee. And a donut. All right. about to explode. What do you do? I just want to know where to put the camera. What are you looking for, Phil? A date for the weekend? No, I'm just interested in you. Uh -huh. You know, what do you want? What do you like? What do you think about? What kind of men are you interested in? What do you do for fun? Is this for real, Phil? Or are you just trying to make me look like a fool? I'm just trying to talk like normal people talk. Isn't this how they talk? Plus. Okay, so talk to me. Let me buy you a cup of coffee. And a donut. All right. So what do you want out of life, anyway? <laughs>
first of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. That's me. He's intelligent, supportive, funny. Intelligent, supportive, funny. Me, me, me. He's romantic and courageous. Me also. He's got a good body, but he doesn't have to look in the mirror every two minutes. I have a great body, and sometimes I go months without looking. Uh, he's kind, sensitive, and gentle. He's not afraid to cry in front of me. This is a man we're talking about, right? He likes animals and children, and he'll change poopy diapers. Does he have to use the word poopy? Oh, and he plays an instrument, and he loves his mother. I am really close on this one. Okay, campers, rise and shine. And don't forget your booties, because it's cold out there today. <laughs> country's largest lake, Chapala, is located near the city of Guadalajara. What is Mexico? Leslie. What is Mexico? Correct. Lakes and rivers 400. Seneca is the largest of these lakes in west central New York. What are the Finger Lakes? Jim. What are the Finger Lakes? Correct. Lakes and rivers for 600. Yeah. This South American lake drains into the smaller lake what is Titicaca? in Bolivia. Jim. What is Titicaca? Correct. Lakes and rivers for 1,000. Milky colored from what glacial clay when entering Lake Geneva, this river is clear blue upon exiting. Jim? What is the Rhone? The Rhone, good for $1,000. You are $500 off the lead right now. Let's go to Inventors for 200 I don't see any other way out. He's got to be stopped. And I have to stop him.
Once again, the eyes of the nation have turned here to this tiny village in western Pennsylvania. Blah, 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 blah. There is no way that this winter is ever going to end. As long as this groundhog keeps seeing his shadow, I don't see any other way out. He's got to be stopped. And I have to stop him. Real good, Phil. Real good. He's out of his gourd. I'm worried. I think there's something really wrong with Phil. Yeah, there's a lot of things really wrong with Phil. So, hi, Phil. I've come to the end of me, Rita. There's no way out now. I just want you to remember we had a beautiful day again. Be the hat. Come on, go. Be the hat. Take me a year to get it. No, six months. Four to five hours a day. And you'd be an expert. Sometimes I wish I had a thousand lifetimes. I don't know, Phil. Maybe it's not a curse. It just depends on how you look at it. Gosh, you're an upbeat lady. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know it's been a really nice day for me. Me too. And maybe, if it's not too boring, we could do it again sometime. I hope so. I didn't know you were so versatile. I surprise myself sometimes.
When Chekhov saw the long winter, he saw a winter bleak and dark and bereft of hope. Yet we know that winter is just another step in the cycle of life. But standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and basking in the warmth of their hearths and hearts, I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. From Punxsutawney, it's Phil Connors. So long. Nice speech, Phil. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks. How was that for you, too? Good hey, man. You touched me. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. I gotta go. Okay? Phil. Mm. That was surprising. I didn't know you were so versatile. I surprise myself sometimes. Well, where are you going? Would you like to get a cup of coffee? I'd love to. Can I have a rain check? I've got some errands I've got to run. Okay? Well, Phil, errand, errands? What errands? I thought we were going back. Phil! What are you doing down here? Go on, get up there. I got ten bucks that says you're mine.
Stay, so you stayed. Mm -hmm. I can't even make a call. He stayed. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check some. Oh, stay, stay. <laughs> It happened. 